Today is finally the day that Ethan and Kim come home. It's now just past six o'clock, so I'm super excited. I don't get in until about 2.30 um, this afternoon. So this morning's plan is I've got to shoot down the training. I've got a, a, some rehab and some physio and some training that I'll need to do this morning at about seven o'clock. And then um, I'll go do some shopping, make sure the fridge is full before they come, and then I'll drive down to Heathrow at about lunchtime to go pick them up. So super excited. I've been awake since three o'clock. So I'm actually pretty tired, but I don't know if it's excitement. I just haven't couldn't sleep. So, um, but yeah, super excited. And uh, yeah, can't wait to uh, tackle this day. So let's go. <laughs> Just arrived into training, got my coffee. It's now 6.30, so the downfall about being injured is you do a lot of training on your own um, with the physio, so that's probably the downside of being injured, but it is what it is, so. I've got a few weeks ahead of me now to get my, my leg right, and then um, you know, hopefully I can be back playing soon. So in the meantime, it's rehab this morning, physio, big day ahead of us, so let's go. <laughs> Two more reps. Just got to the airport. They're about 40 minutes away, so let's go. Super excited. We go home, we go home. So we wake up this morning early to cook mummy breakfast, didn't we? Aww. It's first Mother's Day um, for Kim. Should we show them what we made? Yeah? yeah? Okay. So we got mummy some flowers, some chocolate, a little gift there. And then we got breakfast ready to go. This is an English style breakfast. Kim loves English style breakfast, so yeah. Let's dig in, eh? Come back. <laughs> so guys, there you have it. Um, a bit of an insight of what we got up to. Um, Kim made it just in time for Mother's Day. Yep. And um, we got to spend some time. That's probably the first sort of time we got to spend together. Yeah. And um, yeah, so Kim, probably question I've got to ask you, how do you feel, you know, with jet lag and has it got the better of you and how you how are you coping being back in England? Um, it hasn't been too bad, but um, I think just having him wake up like one o'clock, two o'clock, three o'clock in the morning is a bit hard. Yeah. Um, and then I can't sleep for like, I don't know, more than how many hours a day. So it's, yeah, I'm not a day sleeper, so it's really difficult. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's it's not too bad actually. It's only today I feel really tired. 
It's like, I think it's just hit me. What's what's the biggest difference, like weather-wise, coming from the hot to, to England here? Um, yeah, it's cold. It's cold. It's cold. It? Like Nam's had to put the fire on today because it was freezing. Honestly, there's been no sleep since these guys have come. I've gone from sleeping eight hours a day peacefully to I think I worked it out. It was like eight hours of sleep in three days. So you know, um, helping the little fella out as well as helping Kim out. So, uh, but the, I think the good thing for me is being injured, um, you know, my time, um, I've got a lot more time because I, I'm training on my own. So it's, in a way, it's probably a blessing in disguise that, you know, I get to spend more time with them and, you know, only have to go in in the mornings or, you know, for a few hours in the morning. So, and the club has been really good as well with that. Um, like, you know, I can't speak highly of, of the Tigers. You know, they've been very um, thoughtful and caring and, yeah. you know, they're always about to play first, so, um, yeah. So, now that you guys are here, oh, hello. What uh, do we have plans yeah. as in moving forward? Like, what do, you, what do you look forward to being back in England? And, and oh, just being home, spending time with you, oh. spending time with our fur babies. Like, I miss, yeah, I just miss that. You know, like, it's nice to be back in Australia. Um, to go visit family and friends, things like that. But, you know, it was such a long time. Mm. Four months was too long. Yeah. Um, like, you missed out on him crawling yeah. and, you know, but today, Ethan walked on his little walker for the first time, yeah. so that was a great milestone and Nems didn't miss out. Because, yeah, I felt really sad that Nems missed out a lot on yeah. those sort of things. No, and it makes it all worth it, isn't it? Like, yeah. when you're tired and stuff, so. Yeah. I know, in my last video, um, I spoke about, obviously, mental One moment, it's uh, the mail. Keep your keep going. It's probably Amazon. Kim probably ordered something on Amazon, so. Until she's come back in. So. <laughs> like I said, I spoke in my, my last video about opening about mental health and being away from him. You know, as soon as he's been here, like the sleep, you know, the tiredness, the fatigue just goes out the window. I guess so I, I haven't stopped holding him, and Kim likes it because you know she gets to have a bit of a rest yeah. here and there. Yeah. So um, there's a lot to look forward to, but the most important thing is they're back and safe. The Thank one you. he's actually gotten really heavy. The last time he left, he, he'd be what, 12 kilos now? He's about that now. He is, oh my God, he's heavy. He, yeah, so Look. when he left, when we left, yeah. he was only just starting solids. So yeah. now he eats a lot. Look at those chunky legs. <laughs> Look at those chunky legs. So that's so far so good in the Nadolo house. It's, I'm so blessed and so grateful to have them back home. Um, so now you'll have more videos of us guys rather than individual yeah, ones. Yeah, because I know you guys are probably getting bored of so, our individual ones. Yeah, so we apologise for that, but yeah. circumstances, um, but we're excited now that we're together. We can come up with some content and, yeah. um, you some know. Some fun stuff too. Yeah, some fun stuff that we can show you guys. So, look guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Until then. Like, subscribe. Until next time. Bye. Bye for now. Bye, say bye-bye.